Hey guys and welcome back to Roblox scripting tutorial number 19 of skill series. So uh, since uh, I've already made this before but it sucks and it, people see it was a little bit too off topic so I just decided to remake it alright so I'm gonna keep it short it's about selection boxes and spheres alright here we have an example yeah of both things Right, it's just an anvil that I made for the blender. Right, regardless, look, there are those two things: selection box and sphere. Right, so the box has color, free value, line thickness, and uh, stuff like that. And sphere has basically the same thing, except it doesn't have line thickness. So uh, the line is uh, this, this thing, this. Right. So I can make it as thick as you want, or as I want, in this case, yeah. Like you can totally make it like super thick, it, and I don't know why would you do that, whatever. Anyways, you want to keep this like that, so it would look nice, okay. Then we, it needs a dorni, so it's a sort of special property that it's all on these things so the the object itself can be anywhere the anywhere basically and uh, you just set an other knee so it would show up on that specific part so for example if I change this as you can see I have this cursor I'm pretty sure you can see that right so here's that outline and we just set it right here and it should appear it should yeah as you can see it works other knee is set to the head i'm not sure torso doesn't seem to work oh i guess it's right arm whatever yeah okay i guess it works now whatever then sphere basically the same thing you can set it to anything but it kind of needs to be not a cube because it's hard to see inside so you can sit like that, yeah. Yes, that's pretty cool somewhat. Well anyways, I prepared a script uh, which is this. I'll get to this in a second, right? So um, it's just basically uh, we just wait for the things and then when you move the mouse, it just sets the, the both of those things to the things you are pointing at. I know. This may be a little laggy, but I doubt that. Well, anyways, don't mind those errors, these aren't really from my script. It's just for testing, alright? So, as you can see, everything works. Once we hover over basically anything that is a part, it just does things, right? It can be anything, any size. As you can see, those invisible walls that. No, well, I can't exit that. As you can see, everything works, and with that, um, I wanted to make with that. I wanted to make um, like a thing. Hold on, let me show you. Like this uh, smooth, the color switching thing. But I don't know. Last time I tested it, it didn't really work. Like as you can see, I. I try to do something like this and it doesn't do anything as you can see I burned this things but things just get weirder right when I select this it, it doesn't really have anything yeah it, it the value just doesn't change at all and uh, you might ask well it's in a player UI yeah I go to the player UI and what do I see this weirdness I, t I don't really know what to tell it's just odd, right? It might be something in the script, yeah. I can admit that. Something is wrong with the math, because it's kind of consistent with those numbers. But as you can see, that's the eye, right? And that's another error. Just don't mind that. Well, anyways, well, as you can see, I just print the eye, right? It's one to 2.55 colors right i just want to set it there and if the logic 
tells me correctly, it should be there. And it should set the values from 1 to 255. Not like those hundreds of thousands of numbers. No, 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 no. That's not how it works. I tried to put this. It just doesn't work. Honestly. Just like a fail save. I mean, it's not needed there. Uh, so, that was basically it. It's very simple thing. It's really cool when you want to make something nice. And as you can see, it doesn't... Okay, okay that's my fault. Since it is there. Okay. As you can see, it's pretty cool when you want to outline something. Obviously. And you'll probably know when you need to use it. So that concludes it, I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, you know what to do, you can like, dislike, stuff like that, and I'll see you next time.